Twitter and Facebook account, both disguised to look like they were run by the same black activists, were actually the work of Russians. The accounts are part of the material being handed over to Congress for its investigation into Russia's meddling in the presidential election. The accounts, both called blacktivists, posted videos of police brutality against African Americans and wrote about injustice to African Americans. Take a look at the Facebook page. It says, watch another savage video of police brutality. We live under a system of racism and police are directly letting us know how they feel and where we stand. Joining us, the senior, uh, CNN senior media and politics uh, reporter Dylan Byers. So these posts, they were all designed by the Russians to try to amplify racial tension in the U.S., is that right? That's right. The post coming from this social media campaign was designed, our sources tell us, uh, by an account linked back to the Internet Research Agency, which has ties to the Kremlin. This campaign used both Facebook and Twitter to basically advance uh, a message that would, and, and posts and ads that would uh, exploit the racial tensions that exist in this country effectively as part of the larger Russian goal of undermining American democracy, sowing political discord, contributing to an atmosphere uh, of partisanship and incivility. And they were doing this, Anderson, at a time during a campaign when race was sort of at the forefront, uh, uh, or at least one of the major issues going on in America at that time, still is today. And if you couple this with the reporting that we had last night, that one of the ads, a Black Lives Matter ad, was targeted at the cities of Ferguson, Missouri, and Baltimore, you begin to understand just how sophisticated the Russians were in terms of understanding the pressure points for American uh, politics and American culture. Did, they, did this group have a big following online? In fact, they did. Uh, if you look at the Facebook account now suspended uh, for blacktivists, what you find is they had over 360,000 likes. That is more than the 300,000 likes that the verified Black Lives Matter uh, Facebook page has today. So yes, yeah, so it's not just a question of the Russians being able or intending to influence American politics. That level of following suggests that they might have actually succeeded in doing so. Were these accounts also promoting events? Yes, they were. And that's another area where you can sort of measure the influence that these accounts actually had. There are at least seven events we've found that were promoted uh, or broadcast by the Blacktivist account. They, these events range from a 50th anniversary uh, demonstration for the Black Panther Party to uh, the anniversary of the death of Freddie Gray. Uh, and real events, Anderson, events that were actually attended by people, events that were covered by some media organizations. So what we're, what we're learning tonight begins to sort of help us understand and certainly I think help congressional investigators understand just how Facebook or just pardon me, just how Russia was able to use Facebook and Twitter uh, to influence American mm -hmm. politics.